reliability test for multiple choice question exam in Excel using Chrome Pax Alpha. Reliability test measures the internal consistency of items, i.e. the scores consistency. If a group of students, the same group of the students repeated the same exam, the same questions at different occasions, their score or scores for both occasions are similar and that indicate that the exam or the test is consistent and reliable and the way to calculate the reliability of an exam as a whole or a test is to use the cron back alpha this is one of the method one of the method for reliability test and the equations for that is as given here alpha equals to k divided by k minus one as k represent the total number of questions this multiplied by one minus the sum of the variance for each individual question or item divided by the variance for the total score here in excel data sheet i have a data extracted from a, an exam and a test from for 10 students answering 15 multiple choice questions and the score for each question was recorded as either one or zero one stands for correct answer zero stands for wrong answers so these data are dichotomous data binary data just two options correct or wrong and to determine the reliability of the exam as a whole we're going to use the Cronbach alpha equation to generate a value for the alpha a value of the alpha is does range from zero to one zero indicates that the test or exam is unreliable and one indicates that the exam or the test as a whole is extremely reliable or excellent the first step in calculating the reliability is to calculate the total score achieved by each individual participant or student in this case i.e to add all the scores for achieved by each individual student and the way to do that in this new cell we're going to label the this cell or this column as total score and to calculate the total score for each individual participant select the cell then select the sum symbol here and select the range of the data to combine and add from question number one to question number 15 and if we click on enter the total score for the first student is calculated to calculate the rest of the scores for the rest of the student we're going to select the value here hold drag to the last student and the excel will auto fill and auto calculate the value for the total score for each individual participant now we have calculated the total score achieved by each individual participant 
The next step is to calculate the variance for the total score, i.e. the variance for these scores. Uh, so if we select this cell and then insert the equal sign and then type V, V, A, R for variance and select the first options here and then select the range of the data due to, to determine the variance for and then click in, uh, enter a value of 22.3 6 or 36 is generated so this is the variance for the total score the next step is to calculate the variance for each individual questions so each one of these questions Q number 1 to Q number 15 we're going to calculate the variance for those variables and again it is the same concept if i'm going to type here variance and then select this cell in this cell i'm going to insert the equal sign and then type v a r select the first option here and then select the range of the data select the range of the data for question number one to determine the variance for it and click on enter a value for the variance for the first question is calculated to calculate the variance for the rest of the questions just click on the value here hold drag to auto calculate and auto fill the value for the variance for each specific questions now we have calculated the variance for each questions the next step is to add them all together so what i'm going to do here in this cell i'm going to select this cell then select the sum as i'm going to add them and then select the variance for the 15 questions and if i click on enter a value of 3.42 is generated this is the value for the sum of the variance for the questions now we have most of the component of this formula ready for the K, K represent the number of questions. So here we have 15 questions. And for the variance for the total score, we have calculated that to be 22.336. Just click, right click, copy, and then we're going to paste this value using this option here. So we have now all the component for the um, formula ready. The next step is to calculate the alpha value. And the way to do that is to insert the equal sign and then open one bracket, multiply it by the second bracket. And in the first bracket, I'm going to add the K. The K is 15 divided by 15 minus 1 is 14 so i'm going to divide that by 14 and then in the second bracket here i'm going to add 1 minus the first value of the sum of the variance for the items selecting this value here and then dividing that by the value for the variance for the total score and clicking the enter key a value of alpha equal to 0.908 so this value means that the exam or the test is 91 percent 
reliable and that is a good result and good value so here if we look at the table we can see that Crompack alpha value has different range, ranges and each ranges will be represented by reliability if the alpha value is equal to 0.9 or great, greater then the reliability is excellent if the alpha value is between 0.8 and 0.89 it's a good reliability a value of 0.7 to 0.79 is acceptable reliability a value of 0.6 to 0.69 is questionable reliability and an exam or a test that has a, a alpha value of 0.5 to 0.59 is considered to be a poor reliable exam a value of less than 0.5 indicate that the test is unacceptable and unreliable so this is the way to do the reliability test based on the Crompack compacts alpha using the formula given here by calculating the variance for the each questions adding the adding them together divided by the variance for the total score